guys. What have we got here? We've got a kind of a, an unboxing. Yeah, you heard it. Right here. Unboxing. Yeah. You heard it. We're going to do it first. An unboxing. Ooh. Now, have had a look. Miss Braz. Yeah, today we're going to look at these <laughs> fuses for a bus bar system that I'm going to put into the car audio system. Look at the little fuses, they're called MIDI fuses. So I just open those two 150s. So the 150s is the highest I'm, I'm going with, mainly just for the AC inverter, which does about 1000 watts. Um, and also just to connect the battery straight through but um, let's try them in this new bus bar system which will have other things such as a bus bar and washers and the actual modules themselves they're called the busman fuse block and they are stackable, so you, you can do them in, um, in this case, seven units. And you can have an input module where the bus bar doesn't go, and you just input the cable and have the common bus, and they all click together like Lego. But I decided to just have all fused inputs, outputs, whatever. So there's your bus bar, there's your module, And there's the rest of your fuses. I've got hundred, hundreds. Uh, I've got these smaller bus bars. I'm going to build a negative return bus bar as well. And I've got 125s. Just, just an assortment. Now these washers, these didn't actually come with it, but they're actually. 100% necessary and I've pre-sized pre these so I really know what I'm getting into here because I wanted to use proper size 4 gauge lugs with this system and I think it's, they're kind of designed to do like smaller lugs yeah, maybe um, instead of 4 gauge see how that doesn't quite go instead of 4 gauge I think they want you to do smaller lugs and 8 gauge, 6 gauge, 10 gauge, whatever. But I've made it work by... Yes, very excitement. I'll get you another one. Here's one I did earlier. There's two ready to go. Now this is the exciting part. So, I was just testing the washer size. Yes. Very neat. I'm in a very neat product display YouTube video person. Alright, so now you stick the bus bar on the top, and in this case, you'll get more and more of these modules. Um, then you get rid of these nuts as well. In my mind, I, th I thought it would be less fiddly. It turns out to be pretty fiddly. Put your choice of fused items down, so you have the inspection window facing you. There's our, one of our 150s. And here's another one of our 150s. Now let's just say for argument's sake, uh, this is going to be our battery input to the bar, and the other ones will be the output to the bar. So, you just screw them, screw them down to the bus. This is the easy part. Once you get it to see it, get that one to see it. And because I'm lazy, I got the drill. Yes, spin the finger. Let's put that on the lowest. Sitting as tight a grip. 
Yeah. Now, the tricks for the system to work is I needed to touch the bottom fuse without touching the this fuse, the bulk of the middle, get it to this height and not to overshadow the middle. So I had to get a second washer. And then any size lug could go here and freely not heat up the middle of that um, fuse there. And then I had to get a, a bigger M5 on top and then top nut. Boom. Here's there's your battery cable and there's your cover and you got heat shrink whatever on that bit there so this will sit here like a rack and your next your next item goes here um, you know off to your off to your um, inverter or base amp or, um, Charging run to the front of the car, whatever you've got on a relay. So there, there's two. And so just imagine all the rest up and down. They all screw in. Bus bar system done, achieved. I think it's like 400 amp total on that zinc plated or whatever plated uh, copper it is. I guess that's all we can do. There's the back side. And you just, uh, if you want another one, you just click another one. But I guess um, we'll unscrew it first and then uh, go ahead and make it. There you go. The bus man <laughs> system. We're doing bus bars. You can get that at a few different places. There's a place in Melbourne I've got these from. It's the L and I system. Click them together and you get yourself a bus system. Alright, happy sailing. So here is the completed uh, unit just before installation, just with the uh, dummy lugs. Uh, all of my cables have already been made, so I just happen to have these spare lugs here. And all of my amps, inverters, supercapacitors, inverters, front battery, back battery, um, and whatever. I think I counted seven, that's why I'd made this unit for seven. And that should all just run safely, and this is just for short circuit protection. Power,